Today I'm going to show you how to add a drop shadow to a image in Photoshop. Now we're going to take this apple and we're going to make it look so this, the sun is casting a shadow over here. So I'm going to first resize it to where I want it, let's say here. Now I want to go onto the layer on the side and double click it. This will open up the layer style tab. At the bottom you can see here there's a section called drop shadow. Click on here. Now let me explain what each does. This top section up here, opacity, that will change how dark and how light it is. Basically how see-through it is. You see here you can't see through it if it's 100% and here you can't see it at all. I'm going to put this in the middle somewhere. Now the next thing here, angle, angle here. This changes the angle that the shadow is cast from. So if you look here, this will show you what it's going to look like. So if I change it this way, it changes where the sun's coming from. So I'm going to change it to make it this line, this angle here. I'm going to try and make it similar to that there. I think that looks okay. Maybe a little bit higher. There we go. The next thing is distance. This is the distance the shadow is cast away. So if the sun is from above, then the distance is going to be smaller. But if the sun is really far over here, it's going to be a longer shadow like that put that there now the spread this is how much the shadow spreads so if you have it on 100% it's going to look really thick I don't think it looks very good like this in a lot of the scenarios so usually and if you have it down here it's not going to spread much usually you want it quite quite far down I'm just going to turn the opacity down a little bit now size lastly that's how spread out it is if you do it up here you can see that you can barely see it and if you do it down here it's pretty condensed I'm going to do it about here like this. I think these settings look pretty good for this so far. And now you've got to see here, there's a bit of a shadow above the table. We're obviously going to remove this afterwards because that won't look natural. But I think the shadow down here is looking not too bad. It'd probably be a bit dark in real life, but it's fine like that. So I'm going to press OK. Now, the next thing I like to do to remove this shadow here is I like to duplicate the layer. I'm going to right click here and duplicate layer. If you copy and paste it, it won't go in the same place. Whereas if you duplicate it, it will. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rasterize this layer so that the shadows and stuff can be edited. Now on this layer here, I'm going to turn off the shadow that we made. Cool. So we have this layer is just the apple and this is the apple with the shadow. Nice. So I'm going to click on the one with the shadow and I'm going to go over to my eraser and I'm going to put the softness on the bottom one just so that it's it looks natural. Now I'm going to go across here. I'm going to go across here and I'm going to erase the shadow where it shouldn't be. And I go into the bottom here. And there you go. As you can see, I've now added a shadow to it. Now, obviously, in this scenario, it still doesn't look too natural because the outline's a bit weird. In this case, what you would want to do is you could also add some outer glow to it to make it look a bit more natural. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and comment down below that it helped. Thanks for watching.